Practice problem 3.36 reads, complete the table by supplying the missing name or formula for each covalent compound. So for covalent compounds, we are going to use the Greek prefix system for naming, which is to the right of our example problem table. And these being prefixes are going to come before the element so that we can tell the interpreter or scientist or whoever is looking at the molecular formula how many of each atom is present for each atom listed in a molecular formula. So zooming in here on our table, there are two nitrogens and four oxygens. We would go over to our Greek table and see that two is di and four is tetra. So this would be di, and for the first element, we just list the name with no changes at all to it. So di nitrogen. For the second element, we go ahead and list our prefix, and four was tetra, so tetra, and like ionic compounds, we write the first half of the name and then the suffix "-ide", behind it. So that would be tetraoxide, dinitrogen, tetraoxide. For the second one, there is one exception to the naming rule, and that is if the first element has one atom, you do not list a prefix, um, which ultimately means you do not put mono in front of the element. So this is for the first element only. The second element will always have mono in front of it. This is only for the first element. So in this case, we don't say monocarbon monoxide. We say carbon monoxide. In the fourth example here coming up, we don't say monocarbon dioxide, we say carbon dioxide. So if there's nothing in front of the first element, we know that there's only one atom. So carbon, we go ahead and list the second elemental symbol. The ox implies that we're dealing with oxygen. And there is a prefix of mon or mono, which means one. And we do not list ones on the bottom of our molecular formulas. So CO is the formula for this one. The third one, P2O5, we have two and five as our prefixes here. I'm going to go ahead and erase four since we've used that one. And we now are on the fifth one. So penta, so we're using di and penta. So that would be di. And again, we list the first element with nothing changed at all about it. So di phosphorus. And then we list our next one, which is penta. And then we list the first half of the second element with "-ide", behind it. So this one, it would be oxide, pentaoxide. For the fourth one, again, when there's nothing in front of the first element, it's assumed to be mono or one, so carbon. There is di in front of oxide, and ox implies that we are working with the element oxygen. We're just going to go ahead and put a two behind there, and that's it. And for the last one, there is one element here, and there are three elements in the second one. So we are going to highlight one and three. So one and three. 
mono, and tri. Again, the exception here is for the first element. When it has one atom, we do not list the prefix mono. So we are just going to write out the name nitrogen. For the second one, we're going to go ahead and list our prefix tri. Hydrogen, um, we are going to use the first half of that name, which is high, and then dried, high dried. So nitrogen trihydride. That's it for practice problem 3.36. Let me know if you have any questions.